This is a pearly variant of the Bloody Baron. Obviously very cleverly named the Pearly Baron. Uh, doesn't take much figure out why, but I hope you enjoy it. The hook, the Camazan B175, size 10. The thread is fluorescent fire orange. Catch that on. Trim away the waist. Bring your thread down just to where the end starts. And quickly come back up. The tail and the wing is spring water blue marabou. Get rid of those bits. Bit stray. Small pinch. If you run your fingers through, you'll feel it change where the fluffy, the finer stuff is. That's the bit you want for your tail. Or your tail length, depending on what you want. If it's international rules, Scottish club rules, FIPS is obviously no ruling on length. So it's completely up to you. I'll go for about there. Make them a bit shorter. Cut away the waist. I'll make it easier to tie in. Just put your finger and thumb. I'm just taking away the flu. Makes that a little bit easier. Pinching up the van. Twist and turns. All the way down, just to above, just before where the barb is. Not quite how I want it. So take it away. The rib is uh, ultra wire, uh, hot orange, uh, small. We'll cancel that in first. And the body is Wapsy flashback tinsel. In red pearl. Cut the length of that away. Slight taper, make it easier to catch in. Cut your turns to secure that, keeping everything on the side. All the way down. Tidy up. Just to help protect the fly a little bit. Make it last a little bit longer. Bit of varnish on there. The first turn, square up against the tail. That's quite a stiff material, as opposed to your holographics, etc. So just overlapping turns on the way down. No rush. Get it set exactly how you want to. Bring your thread up and over. Tighten that up, trim away the waist. So it's not quite flush, so bring your thumbnail in. Just there we go. And take your, your wire. Just over the body. There we go. Yeah, just a couple of turns around the thread, slide it up. Slide that away. Sweeten everything up. The wing, same again. Slightly bigger pinch this time. Away. Again, you want those fluffy bits at the end of your wing. Just make sure you're happy with it. Easiest way. There we go. I'll hold it up. Again, just give away the flu. A bit of extra grip. Wax. 
Okay, let's do. See that down. Make sure you're happy with it. Okay. Don't doing that. Just a bit of wax. That one's easier. Nice and tight. Come in front of it if it's still doing it, and just tidy it up. Just make sure you're happy with where the wing and the tail meet. Now for the eyes. There is a video further down my channel about how I cut and shape them. Got the pill shape like this. This is 5mm yellow uh, booby block. The is an I'd arguably say a better way of doing it. Cut them, trim them, throw them in the oven and good pal Stevie Cullen was done a very popular video on his YouTube channel on how to do it. So go and take yourself, obviously after you've watched all this fly, and go and have a look on how to do it. Now you want your eyes to sit right up against the wing. So now obviously I've sat the eyes, if you can quite see, centrally on the thread. So that's one point security for the eyes as you go there you go the end up on the top just one two three turns over the top turn them 90 degrees hold them with your finger if you if you want pull them tight one through the middle just make sure you're not chopping any fibers one in front of the eyes pull everything tight one over the back one through the middle, a couple of turns to finish off, in with your whip finish. I'm securing the eyes, you use glue, varnish, whatever you want. Uh, one of the very few times I'll use resin is to secure booby eyes. Just pull them down slightly, just a drop, just give them a little. There you go, just give them a push up, hold them square, quick flash with a laser pen. Make sure you're happy. There you go, the Pearly Baron. Thanks for watching.